Tony, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm Abby, I'm the nurse that is going to be working with you, and we are going to be doing a sleep study on you, and you have been one of the participants that we have selected. Okay. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, well, I'm a neurosurgeon, and then okay. my family consists of my wife, Katie, and then we have a daughter, Sophie, and um, we have another kid on the way. Okay. Is she like is she very far along, or are you expecting the baby any day now? Um, probably in like a month or so. Okay, so I would say that you're pretty stressed. Mm -hmm. Would we agree to say that? Yeah. How many hours of sleep do you think you get per night? Probably usually around like five. Cause five. My surgeries start pretty early in the morning. Okay. So, do you feel like you use any, like, sleep relaxation techniques? Do you drink a lot of caffeine during mm -hmm. the day? I do drink a lot of coffee throughout the day at the hospital. Okay. Gotcha. So, I have this two-week sleep schedule for you. Okay. So, on here, it has, you're going to write the day of the week and the type of day. So, if you worked, if you had school or anything, okay. like, education-wise, it's your day off or vacation. Okay. So, you're going to do that, and then you would put a letter in the C, like, a letter C in the box when you had coffee, cola, or tea. Okay. M when you have taken any medicine, and put A when you drink alcohol, and put E when you exercise. So, okay. we can track your sleep in all these different ways. And then you would put a line to show when you go to bed and then shade in the box that shows when you think you fell asleep. So like okay. you fell asleep at midnight or whatever. <clears throat> and then you would shade in all the boxes when you are asleep at night or when you take a nap during the day. Mm -hmm. And then you would leave the box unshaded to show when you wake up at night or when you're awake during the day. Okay. So this is just going to be a really efficient way for us to track your sleep. And then I also have some tips for you on how to help you fall asleep faster. Okay. So in addition to the sleep log, we're also going to make sure you're not drinking caffeinated drinks past 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. because that'll help you st or that'll keep you awake longer. Um, making sure that you're not trying to watch TV before you fall asleep because yeah. the lights from the TV stimulate some like chemical receptors in your brain that mm -hmm. make you stay awake even longer. Um, silencing your phones or other electronics. I know that may be hard for you since you are a neurosurgeon and you yeah. have your pager and all of that, but really just trying to limit that mm -hmm. and then resting when you are tired. Okay. So, sound good? Yeah, I okay. can do all those things, I think. Okay, cool.